Hi guys, this is Abhi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we are discussing about electrical load calculations. We will discuss about what is electrical load, what is electrical load calculation. Then we will see diversity factor. Then we will try to run a preparation of load calculation with an example for a sample project. The last one, load balancing and the importance of load balancing. So let's start with electrical load. What is electrical load? Any electrical component that consumes electrical energy and converts the energy into another form. All the electrical components which consumes electrical energy and converts into another form is called electrical load. You can see washing machine. Washing machine is electrical load. Motor is electrical load. Fan is an electrical load. Refrigerator is an electrical load. So all these components, what are they doing? They are consuming electrical energy and converting it to another usable energy forms. The unit of electrical load is watts or kilowatts. If you want to convert watts into kilowatts, just divide it by 1000. Watts by 1000 equal to kilowatt. If you want to convert kilowatts into watt, multiply it by 1000. Kilowatt into 1000 equal to watts. If you want to calculate the electrical load of an equipment, what we have to do? First, we have to identify whether it is a single phase or three phase. If it is a single phase, then electrical load equation equal to voltage into current into cos 5. Voltage, we know single phase voltage is 230 volt. Current you can get it from the main plate of that equipment. Cos phi, cos phi is the power factor. For calculation purpose, we will assume it as 0.8. If 10 ampere is our current, then electrical load equal to 230 into 10 into 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is the power factor. The answer will be 1940 volts. If you want to convert into kilowatts divided by 1000, that will be 1.84 kilowatts. In the case of three phase, there is a slight difference in the equation. Electrical load equal to root 3 into voltage into current into cos 5. Factor root 3 will come for the three phase. Three phase voltage also is different. Three phase voltage is equal to 415 volt. I am referring the Indian three phase voltage. In your country or in your region, the three phase voltage may vary slightly. Our three phase voltage is equal to 415 volt. Then cos 5, cos 5 equal to power factor. The power factor we are assuming 0 0.8 for the calculation purpose. If the 10 ampere is the current. What is electrical load? Electrical load will be root 3, 1.73 into 415, 3 phase voltage into 10 ampere current into 0 0.8 power factor. That answer will be 5743 watts. If you want to convert this into kilowatts, just divide it by 1000, then 5.743 kilowatts. The another one is load calculation. What is load calculation? It is a process of determining the total electrical power consumed in a specific area like apartment, building, etc. It's the process of determining how much electrical power in a building, apartment or area needs to run all its electrical devices and systems. It's a sum of individual loads. Let's do a sample project. Let's calculate the total load. Before starting the load calculation, you should have a clear architectural drawing for the area. In this case, this is my apartment. Before starting load calculation, you should have clear architectural drawing in your hand along with the equipment list. If your equipment list is not final, you sit with your important stakeholders and finalize the equipment list. This is my building. I have bedroom, dining, two livings, two kitchens and a utility. So what I did, I placed my lights and socket in the drawing. The bedside you can see sockets. For the TV I placed some sockets. For microwave oven I have placed a socket. Then general purpose sockets are there. So I completed the placement of lights, sockets and switches for this building. Then we will start the load calculation. So you can see I am preparing an excel sheet. In the rows I am writing electrical loads, light, sockets, refrigerator, dishwasher etc. In the columns I am writing area. So you can see in the bedroom there are two lights, four sockets and one AC. So you can see bedroom, two lights, four socket and one AC like this. In living one also four lights, two sockets, one AC, four lights. Two sockets, one AC. Like this, you have to write all the electrical equipment or load in the Excel sheet. So I completed writing for all the areas. The total will be lights 34, sockets 15, socket 15 ampere 2, refrigerator 2, dishwasher 1, etc. So this is our quantity of load. Then we are putting power consumed by each load. For the lights, I am assuming 25 watts. As per Dubai Electrical and Water Authority calculation, if you don't know the exact voltage of light fitting, you have to assume 100 watts for light fitting. In this case, I know my light fittings are 25 watts. Then I am putting exact voltage. Either you have to put exact voltage or 
100 watts. That is as per the Dubai electrical and water authority regulation. Sockets 13 ampere sockets 200 watts, 15 ampere socket 500 watts. In India, 13 ampere of sockets is not available. I think it's not common. We are using 15 ampere and 5 ampere. 5 ampere you can consider 100 watts as consumption. Again, there is a regulation for this. This is a regulation from Dubai Electrical and Water Authority. You can see current demand of 13 ampere shall be assumed for each 13 ampere switch socket outlet circuit and minimum of 200 watts per point may be considered for each 13 amps. So each 13 amps socket shall be considered as 200 watts. Current of 15 ampere shall be assumed for each 15 ampere switch socket outlet circuit. However, assumed load of 500 watts per socket for residential is permitted. So you can see 13 ampere switch socket power consumption is 200 watts. Then 15 ampere is 500 watts in residential, 1000 watts in commercial. Then refrigerator. Refrigerator I am putting actual load. My load is 1200 watts. Then dishwasher 1200 watts. Hope and chimney, 200 watts for hope and 200 watts per chimney. That's my assumption. Water heater, 2000 watts, AC, 1500 watts, oven, 1200 watts, etc. So if we multiply quantity and load, we will get the total load of that item. So our total load of the building will be 21050 watts. That is 21.05 kilowatts. Our total load of the building is 21.05 kilowatts. Then another time comes. Coincidence factor or diversity factor. What is coincidence factor? It's a ratio expressed as the simultaneous maximum demand of group of electrical appliances or consumers within a specific time period to the sum of their individual maximum demands within the same time period. The value should be always less than or equal to 1. For the simple understanding, take our home. All the electrical load will not be operated at the same time in the home, right? For example, we won't switch on all the lights in same time or all the fans same time, all AC in same time. The maximum demand of the loads operated in the same time divided by the total maximum demand of your home. This is called coincidence factor. All the electrical equipment will not be operated at the same time. So the value will be always less than or equal to 1. But we won't normally hear the term coincidence factor. Instead of this, we will hear diversity factor in the place of coincidence factor. Actually, as an engineering term, coincidence factor is the right term. Diversity factor in engineering terms, it is a reciprocal of coincidence factor. But people commonly use diversity factor in the place of coincidence factor. We can apply diversity in three stages in a building. The first one is in the circuit by function, for example, lighting, heating, etc. The next one is in the panels, the distribution boards. We can apply diversity. Third one is for the total apartments based on the total number of flats or total number of units. In that also, we can apply the diversity. How will we get the value of coincidence factor or diversity factor? You can get it from the standards. Based on the purpose of the circuit, there are some diversity factor applied. As per the French code NFC 14, we can see for the lighting, diversity factor or coincidence factor is 1. Heating and air conditioning 1. For the socket outlets, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. But in case of factory installation, it may be different. Then lift and catering host. So this is the diversity factor by function. In second stage, you can apply the diversity factor in distribution boards. So this is as per the IEC, IEC 61439 part 2, table 101. So as per IEC, the distribution has two or three circuits. Then assumed loading factor or diversity factor is 0 0.9. Then four to five circuits 0 0.8, six to nine circuit 0 0.7, 10 or more circuit 0 0.6 like that. So this is the diversity factor in the distribution boards. Then the third step, apartment diversity factor, diversity factor in the building. This you can get it from the two standards. The first standard is IEC, you can see the graph. If the number of dwelling group is 1, it's 0.8, then 100 is coming down below 0.4. So this is IEC graph. The another one is NFC 1400. This is a French standard. So in that also you can get the diversity factor. The number of dwelling or downstream consumers from 2 to 4. Diversity factor 1, 5 to 9, 0.78. 50 and more is coming to 0 0.38. So you can refer these standards for the diversity factor. The term dwelling units or downstream consumers means residence. It may be flats, it may be apartments or it may be villas etc. So I am applying diversity in our project. The light diversity factor 1. Then the total load after diversity equal to 850. Sockets diversity factor 0 0.7. The standard calls for 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 but I am considering 0 0.7 only. The total load after diversity equal to 3000 into 0 0.7. So like this I am filling all the columns. So my total load after diversity equal to 19.89 kilowatt. 
or 19890 watts you have to consider an important thing this diversity varies from region to region in middle east in the case of dubai local regulation won't allow you to put a diversity factor in the distribution boards circuits etc the only diversity factor applied there is in the transformer side you should be aware of the local regulation before doing this in india it is permitted but in dubai it is not permitted we have estimated the total load of the project but if our incomer is in three phase our outgoing loads are in single phase what happen we have to divide the single phase loads into three phases so we have to arrange the single phase outgoing loads in r y b three phases here comes the term load balancing what is load balancing it's a distribution of electrical load among three phases so that all the three phases carry same amount of power and current basically it's a equal distribution load among the three phases if the load in red phase equal to 20 kw then y phase and b phase should be approximately equal to 20 kw so we have to logically distribute the load among three phases this is called load balancing what happens if we are not balancing the load it may cause to voltage and balance it can reduce efficiency and life span of motors and it may cause the flickering of lights etc the second one is it will cause neutral current in that scenario the neutral conductor will be overheated and there will be a voltage drop in the neutral conductor third one is power loss it can increase the power consumption and increase the power bill it will reduce the power factor and available capacity also if you look at the deva regulation there is a ground rule regarding load balancing before arranging the load in three phases we have to refer this the rule says as far as possible the light fitting socket outlets water heaters cookers and other single phase apparatus installed within any room shall not be connected to more than one phase so we are applying load balancing in our project we will follow one room one phase rule one room we will try to accommodate one phase maximum this is our room list bedroom toilet dining living etc then phase r y b so i am arranging phases in this room this requires some logic your logical calculation or lo your logical thinking is required for this let's arrange the load in this way i am connecting dining living one and dry kitchen in r phase bedroom bedroom toilet and living two in y phase wet kitchen utility courtyard and parking in b phase if you convert this load the first circuit will be r1 r1 is living one light the term r1 means red phase first circuit breaker or first mcb r2 means in red phase second mcb or second circuit breaker similarly the term b3 means in blue phase third mcb or third circuit breaker so we will go for the separate circuit for light and power in good electrical wiring we want mix light circuit with power circuit we will keep power circuit separate light circuit separate then dry kitchen plus dining i am keeping in one circuit same light then living one socket dry kitchen socket then the equipments in dry kitchen so we have microwave fridge ac in this rooms i am adding that also So I'm adding quantity in this column. You will get the quantity from your drawing. You can see sockets, AC, number of light fittings. All you will get it from the drawing. Or you have to design is prior to the load calculation. Then load per unit. We know load per unit. I'm adding load per unit. Then the total load in R phase. It will be seven one five zero watts. That is seven point one five kilowatts. Similarly in Y phase, this seven point one two five kilowatts. In B phase. 7175 that is 7.175 kilowatt i am just conversing this room bifurcation the circuit bifurcation in, into a detailed form in a circuit form ground rules for the load balancing and circuiting are as far as possible keep the power and light in same phase in a single room one room one phase rule second one keep separate circuit for light and power do not mix light and power in one circuit third one is try to keep separate circuit for equipment like ac oven etc maximum try to identify the equipments and keep separate circuit for power consuming equipment like refrigerator ac and oven etc next one is for the lighting in 2.5 square mm wire maximum 2000 watts permitted with 16 ampere breaker for power in case of radial circuit 4 square mm wire five number of 13 ampere socket permitted if the number of sockets are more than five and below 10 then ring circuit can be used with 30 ampere breaker these are the ground rules to be considered while doing the load balancing and circuiting
you get the load in three phases. You can see in R phase it is 7150, Y phase 7125, B phase 7175. Almost identical loads in three phases. You can say our load is balanced. Try to keep equal loads in all the phases. Consider one scenario. If our R phase load is 2 kilowatt, Y phase is 10 kilowatt, B phase is 15 kilowatt. Is this balanced? No. It is not balanced. This is an example for unbalanced load. Loads are not equal in all the phases. In our case, our load is balanced. R phase, Y phase, B phase, almost similar loads. This is called load balancing. You need some practical experience to master in this load balancing. Try to apply this in your project and try to gain more experience. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about load calculation and load balancing. See you in the next video. Bye bye.